welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods, and today guys we are going to be doing our Lancaster Bomber build. So we are going to do issue 6 of Build the Lancaster Bomber. Now I've um, not heard great things about this, um, today we're going to be doing more of the cockpit. Um, and we have got the thrust levers to put in place. Now from what I've been seeing on uh, Facebook and the groups. Um, some people have had a right nightmare with these. They are not the easiest things to do. So hopefully they don't give me too much grief today and we can get it done. I have looked at the parts. I've got them already in order and everything like I normally do. Um, but yeah, the thrust levers came on a photo etch. So they are actually photo etch thrust levers that are going in place. So um, yeah, it doesn't look the best in the world to do, but I'm sure we'll get through it and I'm sure by the end of it, it will look superb because we will be putting the con, uh, the, what would you call them? The thrust levers and the cockpit uh, dials and everything onto the uh, platform for the pilot seat. So this should be a very, very interesting issue. Hopefully I don't swear through this issue, but uh, let's just see how it goes. So with all that said, Let's get modelling. Okay guys, let's do this. So the first piece we need is this piece here. This is plastic. And we need this bit here. This is the cockpit turtle deck. And this is uh, the aerial. Or the whip aerial. Okay, now this is just going to be going into there. Just like that. But we do need to bob it in some glue, which I've just done. Okay, so that's complete. Move that to one side because we're not doing anything with that now. The next bit we need is this bit here. And we need this bit here. So this would be uh, the control yoke and the control column. And what we need to do is we need to put that into place. So... A little bit of glue in there. Um, half moon shaped again, so it can only go in one way. Just like so. And then we're going to put putting this onto our cockpit. And it's just going to be going in the two holes that are just down there. Again, we've got a larger hole and a smaller hole. So you can't really get this wrong. So that fits in there like so. Fantastic. Right, so the next bit we need is the cockpit um, instrument panel. And this is going to be going on to the back of it. Uh, we've got some pegs, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the pegs. Now, I probably would have preferred it if this was lit up. But unfortunately it's not but um yeah it would have been a nice nice if they'd have lit this up but i'm sure it's just not possible and we're just going to push that into place just like that okay the next piece we need is this bit here this is the compass and this is just going to be going into there. Again, it's half moon shape. You can only go in one way. And that just goes into there like so. Okay, so we're going to be starting some of the control levers. Now, like I said, I've taken them off the photo etch. But... I'm trying to get them out of my uh, little tray here. I don't want to come out. These are tiny. Absolutely tiny. So I'll try and get them all out. I don't know how these are going to fit, but I'm sure we will find out in a second.
Okay, so they're all out. Now we don't want to lose any of these. Now it says we need to start working from the right on these. Now on them there's a little notch and that needs to be facing upwards. I don't know if you can see that little notch. It's really hard to see. But that needs to be facing upwards. So I'm going to try it with my tweezers. Hopefully I don't lose them. So I'll try it around the other way with the notch upwards. And we'll get one in. Notches upwards. And I believe that is in. I'm just looking at picture to see how it's positioned. So it's actually positioned downwards. I'm just going to dip it in a little bit more glue just to get it in the right position. Oh, should I say the correct position? Come on. A little bit off the bottom. Okay, that's in. Now we need to repeat that. Uh, would you believe? One, two, three, four, five more times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in and then we'll come back to it. But that's what that's looking at at the moment. So I'm going to put these in and then come back to it because there is actually another one, which is a red one which I'm just trying to find, I did have at the beginning that we've got to put in at the end so back when that's done a few moments later okay guys I'm back and there we have all them controls in place that was not easy okay so next moving on we need our bit here now these are the thrust levers for the thrust levers now again i'm going to do the same i'm going to show you how i'm doing this and then i'm going to sort of do this off camera again because i've got to leave time for these to dry and it is tedious it really is tedious so we've got some large ones to put on here and then some small ones to put on down here. So like I said, I'll show you me doing one. That's not a problem. But it's one of them jobs you really, really have to take your time with. It, it just can't be rushed and I don't want to, to rush it because you've got to get one in and then you just got to hold it there until the glue takes And that is one in. So if you can see that, just camera will focus. There we go. So I've got to do that another four times on there, and then I've got some smaller ones to put in down there. So again, I'm going to cut off camera, 
do these and then I'll come back but like I said this takes about 10-15 minutes to do that one there that it previously took about 15 minutes to do so I just wanted to show you me putting one in and then at least you can see what the process is and then I'll come back once it's done so back in a few minutes a few moments later okay guys I'm back and there we have it there's the controls the levers in place that was not easy that was not easy but it is doable if i can do it you guys can do it okay we're going to be putting this into place now and this is simply going to be going into the two holes just down there i am going to put some glue in them just so to glue them in place This is going to be going on to here, and then that slotting into there. Okay, that is um, tedious, really tedious. Okay, if we turn this over, we need to be gentle here. We've got this um, cap that's going to go on the back. Again, it's asking us to glue it, so. Am I mad taking on another model like this? Probably. Especially the one that's going to need a lot of gluing. But it's going to be worth it. Okay, that is in place. Um, we've got a couple of bits to put on the back of this. So we've got this bit here. Now this is going to be going in. Um, it's best if I do it with my glue stick again. So this is going to be going in just here. And this one here. Okay, that's in place. And then we've got another one, which is this piece here. Again, I've got to glue this in, so I'll show the holes with my glue stick. So this hole here. And this hole here. Okay, that's in place. Now, the last thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be installing this onto our cockpit. So, checking that all them levers are still in place. This is just going to go into this slot here. Okay, here we go. there we go wow and there we have it guys that is our finished cockpit floor cockpit pilot seat we've got the yoke and we've got the instrument panel in place amazing absolutely amazing that looks superb and that is all there is to do in this issue so, wow, that was a lot of work, but looking at the level of detail, it really does look amazing. So, that is issue six complete. Well, guys, that's it for issue six. Thank you for tuning in. I'd be glad when we get a binder for these so I can put them straight into the binders. But that was tough. That was not easy whatsoever in putting them little bits up. And to be perfectly honest with you, oh, it does try your patience, but I'm chuffed that I managed to do it. Um, I only lost one of the thrust levers once, um, it just pinged across my desk, it was on the other side of my cutting mat so I was able to retrieve it, but all that was put in with literally tweezers, really tweezers, I've had to put my glasses on so I could see what I was doing because I don't think I've been able to see them with my normal eyesight to be perfectly honest with you because that was tough, that was really tough, but if I can do that 
I'm sure I can do the rest of this model and give it some justice. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with myself. And that has really put me in a good mood that, you know, if I can manage to do that, then anything's possible. And to turn me with my hands and the shape and everything else like that, sometimes when it does take in, you know, I have to turn off the camera to do this. It just gives me that extra time just to make sure I get things correct. And wow, that is definitely correct. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please could you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.